what's going on everybody welcome to another video welcome to the channel how's everybody doing hope you guys are doing fine i'm doing pretty good myself welcome once again to the channel where we talk a lot about politics culture war and the entertainment industry because you and i both know that the entertainment industry is dribbling with a lot of politics and so it has been two weeks since the release of the little mermaid trailer and it has got a massive support to the tune of 1.1 million likes on youtube after 23 million views however it has also garnered a lot of backlash massive backlash of epic proportion to the tune of 2.9 million dislike as at the time of recording now as you well know access media is going to rush to back up disney's new little mermaid because disney has already had this little mermaid set up for backlash as they changed a character that was beloved from white into a, a black aerial so of course they've been getting the backlash and they had their defense all set up and the access media has jumped into it and started defending them calling fans all sorts of names and all sorts of stuff calling fans racist and so you get articles like this now me personally I don't advise people to start trolling Halle Bailey, but I'll also say this. Most of the articles that I read, I either see maybe one example of a backlash towards Halle Bailey or none at all. So for the most part, I sincerely believe that most of the people criticizing this show or criticizing this film and this trailer are not criticizing it specifically because of Halle Bailey, neither are they criticizing it specifically because Disney changed the main character from white to black. Majority of them are just angry like myself that Disney is playing identity politics with something that they should be using to entertain little children. However, this doesn't stop people from attacking me or others like me and calling us all sorts of names, but it doesn't matter. What matters today and what I want to focus on today is the response of Halle Bailey herself because I found this article here in which Halle Bailey was giving her own response to the backlash and Halle Bailey says, seeing a black version of Ariel would have changed my whole outlook on life. So I want us to get into this article real quickly. I'm also gonna play you a clip of Halle Bailey actually talking about this so that you can get more context about why she said what she said. And um, yeah, let's get straight into it. But before we do, I wanna quickly urge you guys, if you're yet to do so, please do consider smashing that like button. It is massively important. It is helping me beat the YouTube algorithm. As you guys well know, I was shadow banned before and things are starting to change and it it's all thanks to you guys who are smashing that like button. And if you're new, please do consider subscribing to the channel as well. Now, without further ado, let's read this article now, shall we? Halle Bailey knows the word of her role in the upcoming Little Mermaid adaptation. During a Q&A session posted on her YouTube account, the singer touched on the impact of her upcoming role as Ariel in Disney's live-action remake of the 1989 animated classic so let's skip a little bit of what they had to say about you know all the rigorous activities that she went through and get to the juicy part so still in the weeks following the release of the little mermaid trailer bailey and the creators of the film received a wave of backlash in regards to her race on social media the titular character in the original animated film was a white mermaid with red hair Bailey is black, a factor that has proved exciting and invigorating for the young audience of Disney's animated film. Now, I'm pretty sure that the young audience that they are talking about are this particular clip that has been circulating around Reddit, TikTok, and most of the access media outlets have been posting this. So let's take a little bit of a look uh, at it because I had a few things to say about this myself. She's a black girl. See, now, some of these clips are really being caught very, very short because some of the kids might just be genuinely surprised that, wow, she's black. Like, she's a black girl. They might not necessarily be happy about it, but they've arranged these clips in such a way whereby the ones that are super happy about it are left to the last so that it looks like every kid that was shown were totally happy about this. There's even this old girl crying fake tears, in my opinion. <laughs> What? 
So like I said, great editing. They left the girl, the children that really felt excited that she's black to the end. But the other children that were just like genuinely surprised like Ariel is, nope, they didn't show that. Now, there's another clip that you would never see Access Media ever, 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 ever post because they don't want you to see a clip like this. But I'm sure some of you might have stumbled over this clip. Is this little black girl speaking the truth. <laughs> What room? blasphemy did she just say? Why is it at the real one? Dishonor. <laughs> because, like, Ariel's, Ariel's white, not brown. <laughs> <laughs> like, what would it look like that? <laughs> 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 did she lie? Did she lie? No, Ariel's hair is long, not braided. Why would they want to do a movie like that? Well, young girl, the reason why they would want to do a movie like that is because they want to play identity politics with people's lives. And Disney wants an already made excuse if the show does not do pretty well. So I want us to just check out the clip where she had her response uh, for all the critics and backlash. And this is what she had to say. I think that was kind of the biggest takeaway for me is to just believe in myself and know that I'm worthy. And even still today, like with all of the kind of commentary and people's opinions going on, it's, it just reminds me to be number one, grounded and grateful that I have this opportunity and the fact that it's sparking such a discussion like this for all of us. I mean, I know what it would have meant to me as a little girl to have been able to see a black Ariel when I was younger, if I would have seen that, it would have changed my whole outlook on life. So the fact that I'm kind of getting to do that is really cool and unbelievable to me. And the little girl inside of me is screaming and freaking out. So yeah so two things here i really appreciate the fact that she's not going after the fans it's very contrary to what most of the actors and the actresses we've seen in recent times in hollywood have been doing particularly when their show is not beloved by the fans they always say that the fans are toxic they always say the fans are misogynistic they always say the fans are racist and whatnot you know particularly how we've seen viola davis do recently saying if you don't go and watch my movie then you know you don't support black women in other words you're racist, but she's not doing that. So that's very gracious of her. However, the other thing that she said that seeing a black Ariel, if she was a little girl, would change her whole outlook on life. I really am confused because recently when she was on Variety, this is what she had to say about Ariel and how special Ariel was to her as a little kid. Animated version has always been so special to me since I was so small. I mean, it's the reason I would swim. I would be in the pool feeling like I am the animated version of her. And so here's the thing. If your whole outlook on life changes, does that mean that you wouldn't have been playing Ariel today? If Ariel was black in the first instance, does it mean that you would have been less interested? Because if your whole outlook changes, it means that everything that brought you to where you are today, you wouldn't be where you are today. But if you guys understand what she meant by that, because I really don't, it's confusing. Please let me know in the comment section below. Anyways. Yeah. So somebody asked, have you seen any of the memes going around of your version of Ariel and how does it make you feel? So... <laughs> Yes, I have. I've seen some of the memes and honestly, I laugh at a lot of them. It's quite frankly hilarious to me, some of the things that people say, but it's also, it's really cool that people care this much and I'm just super grateful to kind of be a part of this whole monumental movement, I think for us. It's really special. I'm just grateful to be a part of something like this. Yeah, so once again, very gracious. And I really appreciate the fact that she still isn't going against the fans or, you know, criticizing them. Everybody that puts yourself out there, you're going to get people that love you and you're also going to get people that criticize you, you know, or whatever it is that you're doing. Some people are going to love this channel. Some people are not going to like this channel. And it's, it's, it is what it is. Even me that don't get too many views, I told you guys before, um, I, I get a lot of criticisms. I get a lot of abuse as well. So it's one of those things when you put your opinions out there. 
yeah so i really ex respect her and you know she gives me that kind of henry cavill vibes because henry cavill always backs the fans regardless of you know what the fans think about the movie he's on the role he played or the cgi whatever criticisms they have he always backs the fans and that's why fans love him so much and i think that this girl after this if she goes on to become bigger she's going to be beloved if she actually carries this attitude you know however when it comes to disney disney's pandering to one race on its own and when you check out those videos that have been floating around i have not seen one video showing a native american uh an asian an arab a polynesian an aboriginal or or a um, what do you call it um, original Australian I have not seen any of those people watching it and reacting to this so while Disney thinks that they are trying to push some identity politics and diversity and inclusion with this particular thing they are actually excluding everybody else including the white people that they are deliberately trying to exclude with their diversity and inclusive politics anyways you guys this is what i think about this and honestly if this movie does bomb i am seriously going to laugh because this marketing strategy that they're pushing and weaponizing they are actors against the fans it only works for a certain time and people are starting to realize the bs that they are pushing out there anyways you guys these are my thoughts regarding this let me know what you think about this in the comment section below i want to thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please feel free to like share comment subscribe think that bell for notification and i'll catch you guys on the next one till the next time i'll see you guys take care peace and size out of here bye bye